What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol AAPL for Apple Inc., of course. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We talk about it regularly on the channel. The main thing to discuss today is, of course, the fake break of 181. So we did take it out and close above on Monday, but firmly closing back down underneath on today's session. A large part of this is due to the rotation out of tech and into the financial sector. So your names like Bank of America, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, all those guys were, you know, hot and to the upside today, but Apple, you know, even Tesla, some just the big tech names, Netflix, all that stuff took a little bit of a beating. I don't want you to forget though, just because we have a day down and there is some rotation going on, look at where we're at compared to the all-time highs, right? We're just a hop, skip and a jump away. We're only one day down after setting a new all-time high. So I don't want you to misconstrue that rotation as being like the end of the world for Apple. It's simply not. We're right here at the highs, a little bit of a pullback on today's session. With that being said, let's take a closer look at what unfolded, how this actually happened today. What I would point out is that really, you know, we came back down into this line we drew yesterday at 17967. Uh, Where did that come from? If you didn't watch the video, well, if you take out the fibs and look at the move from Monday, it's our 61.8. As we know, if we start closing multiple 30 minute bars underneath, the odds dramatically increase that we make the 100% uh, rotation to the low end of the range. Sure, we did close a number of 30 minute bars underneath, but ultimately I have to give credit where credit is due. We popped back up and over for the close, right? So we're going to continue to watch out for this level, noting that if we flip the script, let's take the fibs this time from the high of today down to the low of today. I mean, where was the consolidation, right? This is certainly a bear flag. We can't ignore that from a shorter time frame perspective happening underneath the 38.2. So any breakdowns of the low of day at 179.17 ultimately put into effect the full rotation to the lows closer to 177.50. That's what I would watch out for in the short term. But I wouldn't push my luck here to the downside specifically. And the reason being is because if we take a look at the daily, notice how there's just a lot of balance. There's a lot of chop in this area. The market's likely going to do the same thing as we come into it. The firmer breakdown is really underneath this level in here, the 176. We've talked about that as a breakout point from in the past. If we start closing underneath that, Sure, maybe things get a little bit more bearish in Apple, but I'm not really seeing it as of right now. Again, please be careful in this range of chop ultimately underneath today's lows uh, for that rotation to here, right? Sure, it could happen, and it is likely based on this bear flag on the 30, but don't push it to the downside, noting location as we've hammered home and the consolidation that we saw in the past. To the upside, your trade now is just simply up and over the two-day highs at 182, uh, let's just call it 183. Let's round to the nice round number. We know Apple likes the big whole dollars. If we can take that out, fine. Blue sky territories, once again, look at whole and half dollars intraday levels that do form, but be patient for that move. I wouldn't speculate early, noting that we've had this fake breakout now of the 181 level. That's ultimately gonna wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it today or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description and all that being said, I wish you a green trading week.